Painting with encaustic wax can seem extremely intimidating if you're just learning about it, but the reality is, once you have the basic tools to get started, you'll be able to quickly understand how to manipulate the wax in really satisfying, fun ways. Learning to paint with encaustic wax is of course a process, and you'll need to practice regularly to learn new techniques, but getting started is easier than you might think. In this video, I'll share the six tools you need to get started and ways you can do so on a budget. Welcome to the FAR Pavilion. I do my best to help artists and aspiring artists overcome fear as they learn new things. So back to the basics. Here are the tools you will need in order to start creating your own encaustic paintings. You might be surprised by how much you can learn and create with just these simple tools. I will create a video about each of these tools, so let me know what questions you have and I can be sure to go over them in upcoming videos. The first tool on the list is a hot plate. You will need a wide surface that can stay hot where you can place your wax and keep it melted while you paint. There are so many that you can choose from, from professional grade to totally basic. I use this plug-in pancake griddle. It is larger than many others I've used before, so I can use it to hold many colors and large containers of wax. You can use more professional grade heat blades, of course, but if you're just beginning, a pancake griddle is definitely the way to go. The next thing you'll need are containers to hold your wax. I recommend using metal containers. The heat from the griddle transfers well through the metal, and they can take high amounts of heat for long periods of time. You can even get metal, metal containers for free. Recycled tuna or chicken cans are great because they're not very tall, and the chicken ones in particular are wide enough to allow thicker brushes into the wax. Another great container to use are disposable bread pans. You can get sets of these for just a few dollars, and they are a great shape for holding your encaustic wax. Number three is a heat gun. One of the most important things you'll learn as you begin painting with wax is called fusing. As you brush the wax onto the wood, the wax will cool quickly. Each layer of wax you brush onto the wood must be fused to the layer beneath it. A video about this is coming soon. A heat gun is what you will use to fuse these layers together. Just like with the hot plate, there are a variety of heat guns you can use, ranging from professional ones with numerous heat settings to basic ones with just an on switch. This is the one I use. It is very basic and is not great for large pieces, but it is perfect if you are just starting. Number four, brushes. Just like everything else, brushes vary in cost, function, and durability. But the one thing you'll need to remember is always go for natural bristle brushes. Your brushes will be spending a lot of time keeping warm on your griddle. Synthetic brushes will not stand up to the heat. Number five, wood boards. You'll need something to paint on. The number of substrates that are compatible with encaustic is almost endless, but when you're just learning the nature of wax painting, wood boards are the way to go. You can buy a sheet of plywood and have Home Depot or Lowe's cut it down into whatever size pieces you would like. Or you can go through a store like Jerry's or Dick Blick's and find pre-made birchwood boards. These will be more expensive, but they're really not too much, and the finishes are much better. I've put a link in the description if you'd like to know where I go. And number six, encaustic medium. Of course, you're going to need some paint. I recommend starting with three colors of encaustic medium, clear, white, and the color of your own choice. I make my own medium and I color it myself. But as a beginner, you'll probably want to purchase some. I like Swans Encaustic. They're a small business in Washington State and are a little more affordable than R&F most of the time. But sometimes it's nice to just get some from Amazon. And that's it. These six things. Griddle, metal containers, heat gun, brushes, wood board, and encaustic medium are all you need to start learning encaustic painting techniques. There are links to everything I've mentioned in the description. I'll go into detail about each one in upcoming videos, so don't worry if you still have questions. Put them in the comments so I can make sure I answer them. In the meantime, check out this video about encaustic medium to start understanding in depth how encaustic works. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos for my encaustic basics series. See you soon!